Good day to all our dear televiewers and subscribers of Deped R Teleturuan. I'm Radolf N. Cruz, junior high school teacher of Patrick Gregorio Crisostomo Integrated School, your teacher presenter for today's episode. And for our today's episode, we will discuss flow of energy and matter in ecosystem, specifically photosynthesis and respiration. We're expected to meet the following objectives. First, Describe the parts of organelles involved in photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Second, describe the process of food making by plants. Third, describe how stored energy from food is changed to chemical energy for cell use. And fourth, identify the factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Let's recall what you have learned during your grade 8 class in science. What is ecosystem? Okay, ecosystem is composed of living things interacting with non-living things linked together by continuous flow of energy and materials through the system. The flow of energy occurs in a food chain or in a more complex series of interconnecting food relationships called the food web. The producer and its role in the ecosystem. Producers are organisms that make their own food from a primary source such as sunlight. They are often called autotrophs or primary producers. They are of the start of a food chain or in a more complex form such as food web. Uh, why plants are important? These are important because all food people eat comes directly or indirectly from plants. Directly from plants. For example, apples come from an apple, apple tree. The flour used to make bread comes from a wheat plant. or well, indirectly from plants, Stick comes from a cow and we all know that cows are animals, not plants, right? But what does the cow eat? It eats grass and grains. So that's a plant. So all the food we eat come from plants. But what do plants eat? They make their own food. Plants making food and what do they need for it? Plants need several things to make their own food. They need chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pig, red, uh, green pigment found in the leaves of plants or see the layers of chlorophyll in the cross section of a leaf below light light either natural sunlight or artificial light like from a light bulb carbon dioxide or the co2 a gas found in the air one of the gases people and animals breathe out when they exhale water water which the plant collects through its roots and nutrients and materials which the plant collects from the soil through its roots. Plants make food in their leaves. The leaves contain a pigment called chlorophyll, which colors the leaves green. Chlorophyll can make food the plant can use from carbon dioxide, water, nutrients, and energy from the sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. Chemical equation is expressed as CO2 plus H2O will yield C6H12 O6 plus O2. Uh, what happens during the photosynthesis process? Now, there are two stages of photosynthesis. The light-dependent reaction occurs in the thylakoid membrane in the chloroplast and converts light energy to chemical energy. The water, one of the raw materials, is utilized during this stage and facilitates the formation of the free electrons and oxygen. The energy harvested during this stage is stored in the form of ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate and NADPH or the nicotinamide adenosine, aden adenine dinucleotide phosphate hydrogen, which are needed in the next stage to complete the photosynthesis process. Uh, let's talk about the light independent reaction or commonly known as the Calvin cycle. It takes place in the stroma of chloroplast and converts carbon dioxide into sugar. This stage does not directly need light but needs the products of light reaction which are the ATP and the NADPH. Talk about the role of stomata. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Breathing to, to you is a very natural function that you usually do without even thinking about it. When you breathe, you are taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. 
taking in oxygen is very important because it allows your cells to do things like make energy from the food you eat. Plants breathe too, but they do it through tiny openings in leaves called stomata, which has singular form of stoma. Stomata open and close to allow the intake of carbon dioxide and the release of oxygen. It's very important that they do this because this is the very oxygen that we ourselves need to breathe. The gas exchange that occurs when stomata are open facilitates photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants convert sunlight into usable energy. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is taken in from the atmosphere through the stomata and oxygen is released as a waste product. Both photosynthesis and the gas exchange that powers it are essential to the plant survival. An unfortunate side effect of the stomata opening is that it allows for water loss. Unlike you and me, plants do not need to sweat to cool off and prefer to keep their water in inside. However, because the gas exchange of photosynthesis is too vital, some water loss through stomata is necessary. This process of plant water loss is called transpiration. And there you have it. Please stay tuned for more discussion on our lesson about photosynthesis and respiration.